And I remember the first thing I said to my mum was, what's that noise? Oh, yeah. Ah. And... Because I could never hear my breathing. And how, uh, how have you found the radio age? Clear. Clear? Which is good. It's, more, it's controllable. Trendy. Trendy, Trendy. yeah. Because, I mean, I've always liked rock climbing and stuff like that. Just because of my hearing, it doesn't mean I can't do that. It doesn't mean that I can't swim. It doesn't what? mean that I can't do anything. It just means that I just take them in a different way. It was difficult, I think, for the school to actually uh, understand uh, anything about them, what we were telling them. So we were telling them Audrey's neuropathy, but uh, because she was speaking well, because she appeared to understand, I think they had difficulty in coming to understand, well, it, what is the problem there? Or is there a problem? You know, they've always sort of said, oh, this, this is query, that, you know, well, there's hearing aids there. And we talked about it, and, and how did I explain it? Can you remember? Uh, same as for you, swimming goggles. That's right. In what way? I... You... Go underwater without goggles and you can't see very clearly. But with goggles, you can. And would you ever swim underwater now without your goggles? Yeah. No, I, don't. I know. <laughs> do, you, do you prefer... The goggles on because it's yeah. clearer. Okay. So Georgina did try them and what, what how, how did you feel when you first tried your hearing aids at school Georgina? What was your your feelings well, at the time? But it was all right and I remember the first thing I said to my mum was what's that noise? Oh yeah. Ah. And because um, I could never hear my breathing. Yes and can you remember coming home on, on the and television? And the television, I just turned it down and I could still hear it. We considered, um, obviously we said that Georgina's been wearing hearing aids. Um, when she was moving up to senior school, the senior school is very, very different. The class sizes are much bigger. The classes are much, um, the classrooms themselves are much bigger as well. So when we went round to visit and to actually understand all of this, it was becoming very apparent that actually to get the best out of everybody concerned that Georgina would need a radio aid to actually help her hear within the classroom environment because um, in the science labs things were going to be suddenly more noisy whereas in junior school obviously Georgina is in one class for the majority of the time um, whereas in senior school it's all over everywhere and very different um, so it was through discussions um, with the school that we felt and the school felt that a radio aid would be the best way forward. We'd actually looked at an alternative system, the radio aid system, which is a loop system, which just goes around the neck. And uh, it's a totally different concept. It's, it's a digital system rather than an FM system. And um, it was important for us that Georgina wanted to use it rather than felt as though she was just being, not forced to use it, but not through her choice. Um, so she's trying. She's on a loan one at the moment, um, and it, and it's working. What's what's different about this one, Georgina? You can't see it. So it's not connected to your hearing aids. So the res um, where does the receiver? I can receive? hide it behind my jumper. So where does the receiver go? Behind my jumper. Yeah. So it goes round your neck. Yeah, I'm just thinking for people that don't know about this system. Mm. So, well, I took it behind my jumper at okay. school and then I keep it on all day. So. And what does the teacher have? And the teacher has this thing which has been either clip-on or something if it's a manual. They can hang it around the neck if it's a woman. But we need long leave for the, the, the microphone. Right, so, so it's the transmitter. It's too small. Yeah, okay. And how, uh, how have you found the radio aid? Clear. Clear? Which is good. It's more, it's controllable. Trendy. Isn't it? Trendy, yeah. And it's controllable, isn't it? You can actually... Yeah. Alter. I can do it, because if a teacher is standing right next to me, I don't want it too loud. So what do you do? I turn the volume down with a side button. That's good. So that's ideal. 
Well, well, the, only, the only place that it's not brilliant for is games, isn't it? Yeah. That's when yes. you're wandering around in games. It's the only time you don't wear it, isn't it? Yeah. Don't feel sore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think the message from me is, is just to enjoy your child. Um, and, you know... Don't let it hold you back. Absolutely. I think that's brilliant, Georgie. Yeah, absolutely right. Cool. Don't mm. let it hold you back. And I think... It, it could so easily hold you back. Georgina doesn't see it as a problem. We, you know, she overcomes it one way or another. We've not seen it as a problem. We've just dealt with it and uh, done the best that we can. And it's a very, it's a condition amongst many thousands of conditions out there. Uh, just research it yourself. Find out what you can about it, but don't be phased by it. Just carry on normally. Do what you want to do, just don't. Because I mean, I've always liked rock climbing and stuff like that. Just because of my hearing, it doesn't mean I can't do that. It doesn't mean that I can't swim. It doesn't what? mean that I can't do anything. It just means that I just take them in a different way. But I think the main thing, Georgia, is you. it's not a problem, is it? Alex. I don't think it is. No, not at all. I'm I not. just think I'm an old person. Exactly, exactly. And what do you Which want is to be when you comparing your parents really. <laughs> Yeah. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Um well I want to be a vet. And, well um, to be exact, I want to be a head veterinary surgeon. <laughs> and you know what? I think she will be. Yeah. I think you will be too. <laughs> <laughs>